Mm-hmm. And when I say a better demon in a positive way, you know, it seems pretty confusing. But I mean, as in like, you're going to be a better, better you. You know, coming from you're going to be at a monster or whatever it is you do. If it's playing soccer, playing football, playing cards, video games. You're gonna you're gonna be a person where people are gonna be like that's a positive ass person. Mm. But if you look at if you get on that person's bad side, that person is a straight devil. You get where I'm coming from. I'm gonna put you in your place and give you some knowledge. You know, hit you a few pages of the Bible or whatever it is, wisdom. A lot of people don't understand that you need that time for yourself. They think because they have responsibilities to do, it needs to be done as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. You gotta take. You gotta take care of yourself, man. Sure, Responsibilities sure. could wait. If you keep pushing to finish a mission, you're gonna fail the mission because you know your, your whole body, your mental, your mentality is just gonna give up. You're gonna self destruct, and you won't even know it. Pass out on the floor. Mm-hmm. Wee, wee. It's your boy, Big Body here. I just want to let you know that this season is coming to an end. This is the second to last episode of Truth Drew Season 2. This is the last episode of The Code. This episode was definitely bittersweet when listening to everybody's idea of how 2022 treated them. The goods, the bads, the overcomes, the journey in itself. Everything came to it's flourished moments and i would love for you guys to tap in two more times with us one more time with the code just really sit and reflect about how your year ended how life treated you how you responded how much growth you had and really begin to understand that everything that happened to you didn't happen to you it happened for you and it happened for everyone else that is around you as well Life is more about the big picture than what the moments are basically making you feel. Definitely feel the things that you feel. Go through all the things that you're going through. But don't forget the big picture is that you are the one that's chosen. You are the one that is the main character. Please believe in yourself. Please believe in the process. You are worth the while. You're deaf worth everything that you deserve. You just have to work for it. You have to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. It's like it feels different. Like you already like you can feel the different boostos, you know, than where it was at the beginning of 2022. And that's the goal. The goal is to to be different from yesterday. You don't want to be the same person as yesterday. And you want to be better. Like, yeah, you'll fall. That's fine. Get up. You know? And I think that's great. I'm, um, what are you looking forward to in 2023? Honestly, I'm trying to just get my license now. I'm mm-hmm. trying to see if I can get into a union, start doing bigger things out here, and, you know, just, just get my own place. Get my own place, nice car. Just settle down, man. Do something better, bigger with my life. You know? mm-hmm. That's good to hear. I'm glad I'm glad you were able to speak. I'm glad you were able to, to articulate certain things that you're looking forward to. It's really important. Whoever's next, whoever wants to speak Me? next. Um... Who are you, sir? You did uh, slip in Charles, here. I'm sorry. I slept in, slipped in. Yeah, yeah. So she said. Um, Charles. So, question is, what was the worst? How do you, how, how did 2022 treat you? That's the first question. 22, 22, um, treat, treated me, gave me my, it gave me my ups and downs, mm-hmm. my, my loss and my founds. And it brought me to a better person in the man. Like, cause you know, 22 was like, you know, not, not 20, 2022 was just 
everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everywhere. I couldn't really do what I was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get faster because I got a kid. Mm-hmm. Everything takes time. It slows down. It, 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 it doesn't really, it doesn't really like, you know, seems like nothing's really going good for me. It was just, I just give up and just quit and not ever do this ever again mm-hmm. so 20 2022 gave me a a, a rocky season just throughout this whole entire year be you know quitting jobs getting fired to jobs so it was like it, it took me to a, a, a um different different level of like different Mat- level the breaking points yeah it, 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 it helped you understand your maturity level yes it helped you see what it is you could do or couldn't do and realize that you could have did it if you really focused, if you tried. Yeah, because I wasn't really focused during 22. I was like busy just focusing on the better head instead of focusing on the basics. Of mm-hmm. Fundamentals. Fundamentals yes. is basic to any situation. So um, what, 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 what is the worst thing that happened to you in 2022? If you don't mind sharing, of course. Going back and forth with you know, my son's mother. Still going back and forth with that situation. So, you know, still trying to make some money, trying to live the best life. But it's like, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Cause I can't get there the way how I want to get there. Mm-hmm. You know? So, so um, what's, 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 what's one of the best things that happened to you? I got my driver's license. Um... You know, I got my safe serve certification. Tell the people what that is. Um, you know, food handling. And um I got my safe yeah, my safe serve food handling where, you know, I, I keep the food safe, where they talk about, you know, to break down all the safety stuff that you you know, you should clean the right way, you should do that. Everything on safe serve tells you the basic keys and basic step on how to make Everybody safe that you that you are serving. serving. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. OSHA so it's similar to OSHA. Yeah. Just in the food industry. Gotcha. Okay. So what are you looking forward to in 2023? Looking forward to 2023 is more more elevations, mm. more more life. Mm. You know, you know, not not every day you live one day. You live one day at a time. You you know you only live once. So, you know, this 2023, I live to see a better future and a better tomorrow. Mm. So that way my son can live up to his high expectation. I can just teach him certain things may not come to you, but certain things can come can also be a part of you. Mm-hmm. So I, I want to teach my son different things. I want to, you know, get get a better, get a better and better career and, you know, live my life. You know, I do got, you know, some job opportunities. So I want to keep on elevating. And yeah, so, you know. It's good to know. Good to hear. How old is your son? Oh, uh, he's he's good. He's good. So, you know, he's... he's How old? Oh, he's one. Gotcha. He's one. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. When's his birthday? Um, April 23rd. Okay, coming around the corner. Coming around the corner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice, nice, mm-hmm. nice. Um... Who has Mr. Andrew? What about you? First thing is uh first thing is what has what how has twenty twenty two treated you? I mean, it's treated me fair. I've had ups and downs, but like I said before, it wasn't as bad as twenty twenty one, so Person like it was okay. Um, I was working, made money, so I was all right. Got by. Mm-hmm. But yeah, like it was an okay year. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't the best, but it was just fine for me. And you're basing it off of last year, and last year was terrible compared to this year. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. What about um? What's the, what's what's the worst thing that happened to you this year? Um. Of course, if you don't mind sharing. No. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. 
having to like change my lifestyle like towards coming here like I had to cut some things out and just like I had to accept the fact that my life was gonna change Mm -hmm. even though I didn't want it to but like there's nothing you can do about that like Mm -hmm. it's something I have to do so so dealing dealing with the inevitable outcome yeah yeah outcomes and change that we have to do even in even without this place you know yeah I think it's more I I think it's more of like my lifestyle people don't really people don't really teach there's no there's no really like lesson of how to learn to deal with change you know Mm -hmm. like everybody um, a lot of people always say oh i don't like change or i don't um i don't do well with change stuff like that change happens in any way in any form any in any shape and um i think it's difficult to teach something like that it's more of like do you have the adaptability in you or don't you and um and it seems like um, the idea of it is the, is the worst thing that happened to you, but the ability to do so, you're, you're, I feel like you're able to do so as well. Um, I could be wrong, but you know, of course, it's up to you. But yeah, it's um, is it's probably both. It's probably like a bittersweet situation for you. Like I'm trying, but I still have like some difficult days throughout the week. Mm-hmm. I just be breaking down in my head. Like it's just a lot. Yeah. But you man, we're we're all we all manage. We're managing. You're managing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's the most important piece is to realize that yes, everything is difficult, but you're definitely pushing through. And um, remember what it is that you did this for. Um, remember who you're doing this for. Hopefully, it is you, um, because it's going to be more difficult if it's for someone else. Yeah. So that's just keep on pushing through. Each and every one of us has that point in our life. And uh, we want to keep going. And I want you to I want you to want to keep going. If that matters or not, obviously, that's up to you guys. But when in doubt, please just want to keep on going. You know, I know it's, it's going to get rough. It's going to get tough, but you got it. Um, what is the best thing that happened to you in 2022? Um, this past year, I guess, like I started working out more. And that helped, like, my mental relieve stress. Mm-hmm. And, like, it feels good after to work out. Like, no, I accomplished something. Like, I just did something instead of just hanging out, smoking all day, whatever. So that was one of the things I like to do and mm-hmm. made me feel good. Getting your groove back. Yeah. Okay. Saying I still got it. That time, we all getting old. So it's it's good it's good to know that we still got it here and there, you know. I don't know about old. I'm a spring chicken. Ah, yeah, yeah, for sure. My man was just walking around aching with the first practice, but it's cool. <laughs> Talking about ah ah <laughs> over here walking. <laughs> He's walking and hurting. But um, yeah, that's that's also that's never it's never a bad I never a bad um feeling mm-hmm. because people. People just need a reminder, you know, that I still got it. And it's good. It's fine. Because when you're in an isolated situation like this, it's kind of difficult to find things, find your hobbies again or get more hobbies because you're so limited, right? Very. Yes. And um, and you can take that into the real world. Like if you live in paycheck to paycheck, you, you don't really have time to uh, do this hobby or you don't have enough money to do this hobby or trying to find a way to like make yourself happy in, in a different way. Mm-hmm. And like everything has a lesson, you just have to be willing to see it. So, yeah, that's that's cool. That's good. Um, what are you looking forward to, twenty twenty three? So in twenty twenty three, I'm looking forward to um having my own spot to live, mm-hmm. get my license, having <clears throat> my own car, and having like a decent job, a mm-hmm. better life, and a different outlook on life see things differently than what I'm seeing now. You mind me asking what are you seeing now? Um now just like I don't know, everything's not so easy. Like if I want to get somewhere, like I need to work hard for it. Like mm-hmm. nothing's nothing's really handed to me. Like parents aren't gonna be around forever. It's just you gotta have yourself in this world. You gotta watch your own back like so you're getting out of that transition. You're transitioning into uh, 
what American has defined as being a an adult. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. As at least at least at least you're aware, you know? Because yeah, I'm only twenty two, so I'm gonna be twenty three next year and just like still young, so I still gotta like get my um head around things mm-hmm. and see the bigger picture. Okay. Yeah. I think um I think really honing in on that will help you, mm-hmm. you know? Focusing on like more positive thoughts than like than what you're used to. Yeah. Like speaking speaking like real real positive about yourself, about your steps, about your moves. Mm-hmm. And don't dwell on the things or the negative things that are happening in in, in today's life because a lot of a lot of negative things are happening. But a lot of positive things are happening as well. And you're a part of that positive push as well. So you got to make sure that you're talking about it, talking about how you how you are manifesting what it is that you're manifesting. You're actually putting in the work to what towards what you're manifesting and it's getting done. Or if it's not done, it'll get done because too, too many people talk about oh, it's not going to happen or. My uh, my dad went through the same thing, and he didn't. It didn't happen to him. So what what makes me think I'm worthy? We gotta we gotta we gotta speak more positive energy into us, and stop stop putting all this bad juju in the air towards it towards ourselves and thinking we're gonna get out of it. Like it's, it's that's counterproductive. You thinking you're not gonna do it, it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, you gotta speak things into existence. Mm-hmm. Like. It's, it's, it's too many it's too many people out there that are that has that job so you have you, you doing that job for them it's gonna make it worse it's, it's just gonna be two against one and you ain't gonna win that battle you gotta make it even right so um thank you for your your input about what it is that you're looking forward to um can you I don't I don't think he spoke yet right no, nah, I didn't speak yet. We didn't speak yet? Okay. So uh, we can go to you and we can go back there. Just uh, give me one second. And go right ahead. What was, what was the question again? So the first one is, how did 2022 treat you? <laughs> it treated me like the unwanted stepchild. What does that mean? What does that look like? Just like it for you, it was just bad all around. Just so much going on. Felt like I was being ignored and not listened to from everybody. Everybody. Oh, okay. Um, going through things personally, and like you turn into the people that you think you're gonna help. That's gonna help you, mm-hmm. and they just like deal with it. You know, fold it. Yeah, fold people like that fold all the time. I get you. Yep. But it kind of it is what it is. Life life goes on. Mm-hmm. It just shows you how tough you can be. Mm-hmm. You just gotta the the what you, what you seek from people that you have and you couldn't get. All, all I can say is, don't lose hope on the people who are coming in your life. You don't you don't have them yet. They're on the way. So don't 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 block them out. You know, I know it seems like people will will fold in the, in those type of situations, but don't blame them. Blame those in their lives who also folded on them, and that's how they became. So try not to try not to hold what happened to you against the ones that are coming. That's gonna come into your life and help you elevate. Um, you can. You can take it or you don't have to take that advice. That's just something that I, I, I've, I've seen. Um, I, I get that as well. So that's, that's the only thing that I have to say about that. But you can continue. Um, it's been rough, mm-hmm. too. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Like I said, you, life goes on. Um, you, what don't kill you make you stronger, basically. Mm-hmm. And you make sure you you say that don't 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 say something and don't put in the work for it. You know, like you you are getting stronger regardless. But believing in what it is that you're saying 
is a different story. It's a whole different step. Like, you know, look, 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 looking into like an affirmations book doesn't mean that you believe. Just because it sounds good doesn't mean that you believe in it. Right. And that's what you, I feel like. You know, I'm, don't, I'm not <laughs> saying this is what you feel. I'm saying that those who didn't believe in you, don't let them feel like, don't make them right. You know, they ain't right. They folded because they can't handle you. That's not your fault that they couldn't handle you. First of all, they probably made you. So they can't take themselves. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of reflective situations that people didn't have on themselves and they put up and they try to put it on you and then help you. So now you're here dealing with certain things that they weren't able to deal with and they blame it on you. So you are stronger than what anybody can possibly think of. And that's the, um, that's kind of the issue here. So people, people don't believe in the people that they supposed to support. So yeah. you're the one that's supporting yourself and you're going to get through it. Um, yeah. What about the uh, more positive side of 2022? Is there a positive side? Came here. I'm on a New Haven. Well, yeah, I'm on a fast track to probably making more money than I would have ever touched. For real, for real. Mm -hmm. Um, it is weird for me to say that because you know I'm somebody that's been to college and mm -hmm. done certain things that a lot of people couldn't say they've done. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's like coming from high school. Yep. If you told me I'd have been here. I probably have cussed you out for mm. even suggesting it. Mm. Um, but, you know, sometimes things work out in weird ways. Mm -hmm. That puts you in places that you need to be and not where you want to be. That's very true. That's very true. And it's, and it's, not, and it's not like a, a measurement of good and bad when it comes to certain things like that. Yeah. It's more of like, it is what it is, you know? Because you, you are... I believe that you, everybody's already on a path that they're supposed to be on. And there's different, there can be different doorways that lead to the same destination. Right. You know, and we just aren't gifted the intelligence to know what that looks like. And that's fine. We just have to be, we just have to finally click and realize that it's okay. We don't need to know all the answers to get our answer. Yeah. You know? We have to just keep walking. Like even when we got a whole bunch of doors that's locked, it's, we're gonna have we're gonna find that one door that's unlocked and walk through it. Keep going. Like that, that's just we can't just keep being stopped by nothing, right? Because we don't see it. We just have to open our eyes and just look what we have in front of us, and you know deal with what we got, and we can keep keep pushing. Um, but I'm glad, I'm glad through all that bad that you can find some good, you know? Yeah. And even a good can seem not good enough. Right. Like, cause we all, we, we, we see social media, we see TV, we see our, our people that we look up to and our family and our friends and whatever the case may be. And we realize this ain't, it, this ain't it, but granted what we've been through in the last, however many, this is good for me right now you know and it's important to really resonate with that because you have to celebrate your good because nobody else will especially if they don't see it as good you know so you definitely have to really dig deep into yourself and really look into your mirror and realize you know what i'm doing what i need to do to better my life even though i got all this it didn't get to me it didn't get where i needed to go it brought me towards people who shown themselves when they need when, uh, when I needed them they didn't show up. So it's, 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 it's definitely good to realize that there's good in the stuff and the bad stuff that you was put in. You know. Um, so what do you what are you looking forward to? What are you looking forward to? Twenty twenty three. That new check coming. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> that money. That money back, yeah, man. That money back for sure. Um, just being. The people I still do consider my family to mm -hmm. be able to support them and give them what we didn't have coming up. Mm. Um, you mind giving us a little more details of what that means and what that looked like? 
Um, if you want to, of course. So for me, you know, I love my nieces. Mm-hmm. Treat them like they're my little sister. Mm-hmm. I want to be able to just, if they need it, call me and I could do it. Mm-hmm. Well, I was still doing that before I got here. Yep. But now I'll be able to do it on a bigger scale. Okay. Um, how long do you think you'll be able to do that? Like, are you doing that? So are you doing that more because out of the gracious of your heart or are you doing that because they absolutely need it? Both. Okay. Okay. Just because, you know, they, they fathers are weirdos. <laughs> Yeah, that's been a, that's been a theme for the last couple podcasts. I guess they father, yeah, they fathers are weirdos, and if I could do it, I'm gonna make sure they got it. Mm-hmm. Um, so only thing that I have to say off that is just make sure that same energy goes into yourself. Yeah, well, no, no, most definitely, I'm always gonna look out for self first. You got to. Same thing they say when you. Planes is going down. Mm-hmm. Put your face mask on yourself first. Then help your child. Because mm-hmm. you can't help a child if you're knocked out. Right. And you can't help your niece if you ain't making it. Right. And um, it's definitely good to do things out of your heart because you will be granted a lot of different things, you know, eventually. You might not get it right away. You might not get it when you want it. But it's going to happen. Based, uh, based off the fact that you're doing it because you can, not because you have to, or not because you're being told to, you know? Yeah. So that's good. That's good to hear. Um, I hope you get what you need. I hope you get, get where you need to go and uh, do the things that you need to get done. What about you, my man? All the way in the back, trying to hide with his hood on. <laughs> trying, to, trying to look all... Less quality in the camera because it's so far back. Oh, I won't zoom in to make you uncomfortable. I just, I just ask about you. I think it's muted, though. Oh, no, it's not. You're good. So first question is, how has 2022 treated you? 2022 has been a big adjustment, mainly, mm-hmm. with my new situation compared to last year. And... That's probably been my biggest problem is the adjustment going to where I'm at now versus where I was not having to always look over a shoulder, not having to worry about too many things. Mm-hmm. And it's been a relief. But at the same time, the way things are done here is also a struggle mm-hmm. to get behind and try to follow everything every which way Mm -hmm. sometimes it feels overwhelming more than anything but you just got to keep going and um like i said before a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that happens to you that it happens so fast that it's more of like a lesson to like can you juggle it? Can you juggle what's going to happen to you in the next 15, five, you know, 10 years? And I think the things that we get that's overwhelming, you know, so early on is try to get us prepared for that really big overwhelming situation that you probably wouldn't be able to deal with if you didn't have that little mini, that the smaller overwhelming situation, right? You know, because obviously we're not going to see what's, what's going to happen to us. Because if that's the case, then it probably wouldn't be as overwhelming. But unfortunately, we just don't have that gift. And it's, it's lessons. Lessons may look so many different ways. It may look so many different like faces, people, perspectives, all that. And it's hard to prepare for them if we don't deal with or realize the stuff that what we've been through, what we've done, um, and how we handled it. And and an adjustment is oh my goodness is is the life of the United States of America. It's uh it's one of the hardest hardest things to do here. And it's good to it's good to know that you know that adjustment is one of your struggles, but not your defeat. So you know 
it's, it's good for you to identify those things because you know what to work on. Or if you didn't know before, now you know what to work on. And, you know, just just keep on dealing with the things that you've been dealing with the way that you were dealing with it to keep on going, you know. And like you said, just keep on going. Just 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 keep on walking towards the path that you're working on now to to get a better to get a better year, to get a better day, to get a better life. Um, is that all from how 2022 has treated you? What's what's one of the worst things that happened to you in 2022, if you don't mind sharing? Sharing with us. Uh no, thank you. Okay. Um, but there's obviously something that happened and you were able to overcome it or are trying to. Uh yeah. Okay. Um, what's one of the most positive things that happened in twenty twenty two? Although it's been one of the most difficult this my current situation is one of the most positive. Getting me out of the environment that I was in. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, they are like at home? At home. Where are you from? Uh, Meriden. Meriden? Oh, there's a lot of people from Meriden here that I've noticed. Um, what part of Meriden? Um, downtown. Downtown? Where is Meriden? Is it like it, right past Waterbury? Yeah. Oh, no, shit. Yeah. Oh, it was uh, Dondre that lived in Meriden. Yeah. Shout out to my man, Dondre. Facts. Shout out to my man, Did Dondre. my boy wrong. <laughs> Which, um, okay, so um, when you when you get done with this place, are you still in Meriden? Would you still be in um, Meriden? Temporarily, yeah. Okay. Do you plan on moving? Do you plan on moving out of Meriden or out of your situation? I plan on moving out of Connecticut altogether. Oh, there we go. Where are you going? I haven't quite decided just yet. But- okay. Some place where it's not so cold. That that's yeah, the I can't, find, I can't do this cold no more. I already because the way I'm going, I'm gonna be working outside. Oh, but I want to work in zero below. Very true. There's one. You know, we got two Cali's. We go visit. We're gonna visit. Okay. When I do decide to move, I'm going to Black Hollywood. Black Hollywood. What does that look like for? The people who don't know where that Atlanta, is. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> that's what that's no, the, that's, that's one what, of the nicknames for Atlanta. <laughs> the Migos. No one can hear you. <laughs> I was just saying ATL is flourishing like crazy because you know you got the ATL, you got the Migos, you got Tyler Perry, you got every celebrity in there. Black folk, black folk, black folk, black folk, black folk, black, folk. black excellence, black excellence. excellence is everywhere, but it's mostly. Down I mean, south. Once I finish, I want to go back home. Uh-huh. But like Where's stack home? up Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. But I want to stack up some money mm-hmm. and then probably um, travel somewhere. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. No, that's a fact see too. The, I'm trying to get this passport stamped. Yeah, like just see the world because there's so many places I've never that's been. That's another thing. I'll have money to travel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely. It's, it's good to have these goals though. Like I need you guys to like realize the type of goals that you guys have. These are not far-fetched goals. These are not abnormal goals. They may seem difficult because of the situation that you're in right now, but you need to really like remember like this is something that I'm going to do. These are the things that I want to do. You got to remember that the, w- w- these are the things that's going to make you put a smile, that's going to put a smile on your face. You know, j- it's this not is- forever. It's you- temporary. Yeah. This is a temporary situation. Yeah. Like, well, I feel like if I was trying to, you know, reach those goals, I need to have, you know, passive income so I can, you know, still make money while I'm traveling and mm-hmm. do things bigger. So, and, 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 and you can probably get a job that's that's in the that's area. helping you that and you got a job that makes you travel. You know, that's also the, that's also the dream for me. Get a job that makes you travel. You know, I'm all about investments, man. I'm all about making money. You know? mm-hmm. Benjamin's Benjamin's all my brain. <laughs> That I believe that's all of us. That's everybody here. What about Tyrell? My man Tyrell been 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 real real quiet, real quiet in the last like forty minutes. What's 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 going on in the brain? I can't really say. Um, twenty twenty two treated me any specific type of way. Okay. Um, there there was obstacles that was difficult. Um, difficult to um. 
to bypass one of them is definitely um adapting adapt, adapting here um oh, adapting got it I yeah adopt, no. you adopting adapting here Crazy. because they let you um, have a kid up in here <laughs> <laughs> it, throughout the process of adoption mm-hmm. it, it definitely put me through a lot of um mental and emotional battles mm-hmm. which made depression hard to fight off um and things like soccer which is a big coping mechanism for me I have no way, no way to cope with the depression I have. Mm-hmm. So I had to find ways and make unexpected bonds with people to enjoy myself while being here. Mm-hmm. Um, so that that part where it put me in the depression, that's definitely one of the the worst things I can say happened this year. Mm-hmm. Everything else was um. A learning lesson, including the depression part, mm. because I did learn things about myself, and I found ways to deal with whatever problems that have come my way. Yeah. Um. So that's the depression part is definitely one of the worst things that happened to me so far. So working towards positive. What's what's what's, what's more positive that happened to you in twenty twenty two? Uh, definitely a lot of different perspectives. Um, when it comes to like life in general, like um, Kobe we were so we speak we spoke of um spoke on culture awareness mm-hmm. a while back. That opened up my um perspective on how society is, how um how how it has been mm-hmm. and where. It, was to mm-hmm. where it is now mm-hmm. and, and if you want to check out that podcast make sure you subscribe and like on true choose jack uh inco you want to hear that about multicultural awareness <laughs> and it definitely it definitely opened me up to someone i didn't think i could be i've i've reached a level of maturity where i question myself mm-hmm. you know but i do choose to be immature sometimes i don't like being too too mature. Gotta stay yeah, young. It, it's pretty. It's pretty boring. Gotta stay young. I get it. Yeah, and um, I'm like that every I day. I know. I know. I know when to be mature and when not to be, you know, immature. Yeah. And um, that's definitely some part. The part of myself why I've fully realized. So I you know I, I accept that part of me. Um, for me, I've realized this year bonds definitely play a big part of me growing as a person um and having uh, having connections as well you know connections carry you a long way when it comes to you know work and uh, connections to help someone or get a job you know a lot of a lot of other things a lot a lot of opportunities mm-hmm. and um bonds is definitely something that I hold dearly because if it wasn't for that Definitely probably would have got terminated or I would have been in a dark place. Mm Would have still been trying to fight my way up from rock bottom. And, you know, the bonds I've created here definitely uh, has helped me out dramatically. I've been here seven months now, going on an eighth. Where are you coming from? Hartford, Trinidad. Um... Not Hartford, Trinidad. Hartford no, and Hartford, Trinidad. If I'm from those, Trinidad to Hartford. There's no Trinidad and Hartford. No, Hartford no. to New Haven. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was telling the folks who think there's a Trinidad and Hartford. Not a lot of smart people in this world, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta remind me. <laughs> this is pretty sad. Uh, yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to? Damn, I'm trying to get back playing some ball, man. Soccer. Soccer. Yeah. World Cup is coming up. Yeah. A few more days. Gotta get that beer belly out of here. Uh, hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's that's actually something I'm looking forward to as well. Um World Cup, soccer. Looking forward to seeing my um my baby sister. I have four sisters at home. Mm-hmm. The other three can piss off. Young. Hey. Wow. They they they're older. Okay. Um than my baby sister. I'm the only I'm the oldest. Uh, I can't really. It's pretty sad, but I don't know all their ages. Well, but I know, I know the, that's pretty common. I know the first one is fourteen. The second, on um, the last one is um two. 
Last one, of course, is my favorite. You of know, course. You know, baby. So I'm looking forward to going back home, seeing my sisters, uh, spending more time with my mom. Mm-hmm. That you was know. home Hartford or was home Trinidad? Hartford. Okay. Home Hartford. Got it. Trinidad, you know, prayers, prayers to Trinidad. Definitely need some help. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, a, lot of, a lot of things sadly has been going on and that's somewhere that has been suffering since inflation. And it's been making people's lives difficult. Yeah. So, you know, shout out to all the people that's really grinding and trying to get their shit together. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. Y'all um, need it. Man, I'm just looking forward to soccer and and um jobs mm. and, you know, bettering myself even more because unexpectedly I've reached a level where I didn't think I would be yeah. anytime soon as a, a late bloomer. And uh, I'm looking forward to see my brother, my sister, my mom. Uh, the playing soccer, jobs. We're not looking for no jobs, man. I, 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 I could definitely job, say though. I could definitely say though. Money. I'm I'm not a really money hungry person, uh-huh. but when it comes to being there for my family, I'm still looking down that road where down that path where I'm trying to find out what it is I really want to do, and I don't want to do something just to do it. I want to do something because I enjoy doing it, which makes the money somewhat easier to come through you know yeah. money money isn't co- doesn't come easy you're still gonna have to put in the work but i would definitely rather put in the work because i enjoy what i'm doing than put in the work because i have to um that there would help me a lot mm-hmm. mentally because when you're doing something you don't want to it brings a lot of a, a negativity towards yourself and it's almost like you're setting yourself up for self-destruction um a lot of people don't take care of themselves very well when they're forcing themselves mm-hmm. to do things that they don't want to do because conflict comes their way. A lot of problems with the boss, co-workers, makes you want to give up in general. So I definitely am still trying to find uh, that one thing that I enjoy doing Yeah. so I can go down that path and you know work my way up to the highest level and live life there. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Don't forget don't forget about that man. That's important because you need to realize that we, there's so many things that we have to do, you know? And that's it's annoying. It's anno- we have to we have to be we have to be this type of guy. We got to be this type of black guy. We got to be this type of black guy with the fam. We have to be we have to provide for this person. We have to provide for our it be so many different things we have to do, you know? And it makes and all that stuff that we have to do to perforce to do it makes us forget what we need to do yep. for us, for for ourselves, mm-hmm. for our mental, that's for why, our physical. That's and, why I'm, I want to beat people up when they go that above and beyond because they're going that above and beyond, but you're not in shape. How are you? How are you gonna go above and beyond when you're not in shape? How are you going to be able to run that race and that one leg, that left leg is is sore, you know, your ankle is, is twisted, you know, how are you going to be able to run that race? You need to give yourself time, you need, to, you need to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, whatever it is, in order to be able to do what it is you have to do. Mm. You, can't, you can't play football with a broken arm, you can't do that. Mm. You can't play football with that mentality being at rock bottom, you can't do that. When your mentality is at rock bottom, your physical performance is at rock bottom as well. A lot mind of people. and body are definitely one. It definitely mind and body are definitely one. I try to for for a, a person who is uh, emotional, as in and intact with their feelings. I try to tell people that don't get that that what's the word? Don't feed into that thing where people say because you're a man you don't you can't cry. Mm. I, me personally, that's straight bullshit. Don't feed that shit to me. Because I would definitely go off. Negativity. I re- the reason why I say that is because you gotta, you gotta, you gotta Revolution. deal with your emotions. You gotta face them. Yeah. I've been, I've been called a bitch because I've cried mm-hmm. for whatever reason. I've called people a bitch because some people they tend to run away from their emotions. Yeah. They go to weed. You know what I'm coming from. I understand weed. That weed is a coping method, yep. a coping mechanism for them. But you do it. There's people that do it all the time because. That's the only thing that helps them, man. I, me personally, 
that's a bitch move because you're not facing whatever demons face to face. Yeah. You're taking that to run away from it, you know, yeah, yeah. fantasize. Easy way out. Yourself out of it. And yeah. that's where I'm like, you know, you can't call me a bitch when I'm the one facing my demons and you're the one that's not. Releasing. You get what I'm coming from? Releasing. So you have demon. to face your demons. Yeah. You know what I'm coming from? And when I say face your demons, I'm not saying, you know, fight, you know, no, you got to make friends with them. You got to understand your demons because at the end of the day, the demons are on your side and the demons are going to be- make you a better demon in a positive way. Mm-hmm. And when I say a better demon in a positive way, you know, it seems pretty confusing, but I mean, as in like, you're going to be a better, better you, you know, coming from, you're going to be at a monster or whatever it is you do if it's playing soccer, playing football, playing cards, video games, you're going to, you're going to be a person where people are going to be like, that's a positive ass person. Mm-hmm. But if you look at, if you get on that person's bad side, that person is a straight devil. You get where I'm coming from? I'm going to put you in your place give you some knowledge, you know, hit you a few pages of the Bible or whatever it is, wisdom. A lot of people don't understand that you need that time for yourself. They think because they have responsibilities to do, it needs to be done as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. You got to take, you got to take care of yourself, man. Sure. Responsibilities could wait. If you keep pushing to finish a mission, you're going to fail the mission because you know, your, your whole body, your mental, your mentality is just going to give up. You're going to self-destruct and you wouldn't even know it. Pass out on the floor. Mm-hmm. Wee, wee. Hospital. <laughs> you know, you're on the way to hospital. You even realize you was in the hospital truck. Yeah, get in that. That's, the, that's a G. So be careful with that. Yeah. You don't got it. You can't get in that hospital. So, mm-hmm. you know, there's a lot of things that we have to realize that are there to you know, run us over. It's there to keep us down. It's there to uh, get just put more obstacles in, in front of us. And we have to remember what we're doing. What we're doing this for? Who we doing this for? It needs to be you. If it ain't you, it ain't gonna get done. It's gonna. It's actually. If, if it's gonna get done, it's gonna be prolonged. So we have to remind yourself. The race is gonna be just as long as you make it or you're not going to get to that finish line if you're not if, if you're not putting in the work so you you might think that time is going by so slow or everything's against you or um nothing is working right but you can all you can do is just realize that you're the one that's prohibiting yourself you're the one that's endangering yourself putting these obstacles in front of you because that's how you're the, you're the one that's thinking that. So just remember that your goals is the ones that should be helping you get to get to that positive side of yourself. Everybody got a negative side. Everybody got a positive side. It's just whichever one you listen to the most. And uh, we got to remember our goals is for us, not for our, not for our kids, not for our mom, not for our dad, not for our grandma, our niece, but for us. We can help those. As uh, others, as in our lives, as we get to our goals, but don't forget about yourself. Um, but I'm glad that you're able to like come to us, talk to us about your year and about how you're prospering, you're manifesting, and you're getting. You're gonna go get to where you need to go in 2023. Um, you know. Have have great have a happy holidays. Have a wonderful um rest of your twenty twenty two. Somebody hit the lottery. Come holla at a brother. <laughs> Remember me. And um peace. <laughs>